incontinence in itself means an involuntary leakage of urine. That actually means that the patient cannot control when the urine comes out. Urinary incontinence after childbirth, the most common is actually stress incontinence. When I say stress, it's not because the patient is stressed, but it's because of an increase in the intra-abdominal pressure, which means that they will have a leakage of urine when they cough, when they sneeze, when they carry something heavy and things like that. So that is called stress incontinence. Now incontinence after childbirth is actually very, very common unfortunately. About 4 out of 10 women actually have uh, incontinence, although it is not much spoken about because they are a bit shy of this condition. Now 50% of women, it's been shown in studies that 50% of women who had a childbirth by vaginal delivery versus that women who had caesarean delivery. So those those who had vaginal delivery, 50% actually had incontinence. So it's actually a very, very common um, condition uh, which is not spoken about much. So it's great that you're talking about it today. Uh, and it's actually something that we can treat. So a lot of women shy away or they don't come forward to, to, to discuss this problem even with the doctors or their, even their family members because they just feel shy. So it's good that we are talking about it today because you see um, all these ladies out there, you must understand that this is quite common and it is actually most of the time it recovers on its own uh, within months to sometimes even a year. But if it does not recover, there is actually other treatment modalities for it and you should come forward and get help.